anxiety. What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're talking about how to get better at anything. So, I've been making music for a long time. Hell, I've been drawing for a long time too. I just don't show it here because it's... But I draw, I make music, and I've done a lot of these things. But the one thread that always helps me, and it's always been an important part of my growth, and I think it's an important part of anyone's growth, is that finish your work. It will never, ever, ever be perfect. I have a song right here. I'm about to just give us some polish and send it out in the world. It sucks. I mean, someone might like it, but personally, it has a lot of room to improve, and I'm like, not at that. However, if I keep trying to hone this one track until it gets to this perfect, crystalline, amazing piece, I'll never get there. I'll, you just, you can't polish something to the point where you get better at it, because part of making art, part of making music, part of any creative endeavor, part of anything at all really, finishing the task, finish the job, start to finish. Because if you don't do the whole process, you won't learn the whole process. You know, if I make, and that's not to say, you know, don't spend a day, you know, playing around with a synthesizer and just making wacky sounds, you know, aimlessly. That's not to say that, you know, don't doodle on your draw pad and just kind of just make whatever comes to mind. My point is, is that if you're working on a project, don't keep twiddling things to perfection when the, honestly, the things you're changing are gonna be so unnoticeable, you're not gaining anything anymore. Once you're, once, once you're, once you've stopped progressing, on a project, that's when it needs to be considered finished. And that's different because you will never, like I said, you know, my favorite music, my favorite musician, they probably heard the songs that I've loved and listened to and thought, dang, it could have been better. And they're right, it could have been, but that's not something I care about. That's not something that's important. And after a certain point, you need to realize that getting to the finish line is more important than having the perfect song when you get there. And I see so many people who are obsessed over making one song to be absolutely perfect that they never make anything different. They never grow. And it sounds like the same song. They'll be like, oh, I changed this. Oh, I changed that. And it doesn't change the fundamental of where you started. Starting is a huge important thing to learn on how to make music. Ending is a huge important thing to learn on how to make music. The middle, all of it, it's all extremely important. We'll take normal art, for example. You know, you just do sketches all day. Well, that's fine, but they're not going to go anywhere until you add line art. And then, okay, and, and, and that's the thing. Let's say you have a sketch. You can't perfect a sketch. It's a sketch. That's the thing. And so as you keep working at the sketch, you're never going to get to a finished piece if you're just working at a sketch. So you need to make that next step. So from sketch to, for example, line work. Once you get the line work down for that one piece, once it's down, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough to move to the next step. Once you feel comfortable that it's ready for the next step, go there as fast as you can because dilly-dallying and some tweaking of whatever is going to drive you insane and you're never going to go anywhere. One of the things that I found recently is, so I use Ableton and it has a lot of like clip launch features. And so uh, really fast, I can make like an eight bar loop and it sounds good. But once I'm there, I can't keep tweaking an eight bar loop to get better because it's an eight bar loop. I'm, I'm confining myself to such a small area. So I need, so as soon as I get something down that I like in the arranger or in the, uh, what is it, in the clip launch, 
immediately I throw it onto the arranger. And I immediately start building out the structure of the song and start working out from start to finish and trying to imagine the bigger picture there. Because without that, without working towards that, without, if I'm just honing one small piece, it's never gonna go anywhere. I can't drop an eight bar loop on Spotify. That's, no one's gonna like that. I mean, some people might, DJs do, but like, it's not going to actually be a song. It's just gonna be a loop. And so I think that's what a lot of people need to understand is that if you don't finish your projects, literally, and that's the thing, it's your call. There's never gonna be a moment where you're gonna be like, oh, it's done, it's done. I was like just in the middle of drawing something and all of a sudden it finished. That's not how it works. You have to say, I'm done. I am done with this project. It is time for me to wrap it up in a little bow and send it off into the world. Because it's more important to do that than to, to, to hyper-focus on one thing. Because once you send it off, you're now free to work on the next thing and make that to be better than the thing you sent off. And then you actually have two things you can compare to see the improvement. Rather than, you know, it's, it's hard to see improvement when you're working at such small scales. You know, if, if you're like overworking on a sketch, for example, it's hard to see if like one ear is better than the other if you've been drawing the same ear for three days. It's just gonna be difficult to see. But once you finish that, and then you move on to the next one and finish that one too, you now have two things and you're like, oh, I like the way I did the ear on this one better. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Or I didn't like how this worked on this one or this one, so let's avoid that on my next tracks. But you can't be objective if you're comparing yourself to either perfection. You can only be objective when you're comparing yourself to what you've already done. And if it's not done, you can't compare to it. And so it'll never go anywhere. So big advice to everyone, including myself, unfortunately, finish your projects. Finishing your whole project, that is how you'll learn the fastest. And I think that's all I have to say about that. I wish I had an example. Check out my SoundCloud. I'm gonna release this guy here in a week, probably. I need to do stuff and I'm lazy. But yeah, I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.